going we're going to show a short video of uh, a three year old that the veterinarian broke my heart. Mm -hmm. Now he did, but I mean he was right, and I knew it was coming. I just didn't want to face it. But uh, things happen, and this right here is is legitimate. Yeah. And and I I knew that if I ever carried this horse up to, because I like to leave mine through inspection. Of course, I, yeah. But I knew if I ever let him up there, show was going to get me. Curtis Pittman's going to get me. The USDA, if they was there, they are going to get me. If you're out, yeah. But whoever was there, they are fixing to nail me for leading him up through there. And ain't nothing wrong with him. But war, <laughs> warts. Warts. But let's go. Here, here's a short video. I can't pass. People talk about the care we give for these horses. Right here is a prime example of a horse that had a promising future, but we ended up having to make a trail horse and a field trial horse out of him, simply because he had warts. I had a veterinarian look at him and tell me, he said, Jerry, you can't show that horse. So a beautiful horse with a fine gait ends up being a trail horse because of much of mother nature, not something that we've done but something that just happens naturally sometimes. You can shoot around him, you can shoot off of him. So instead of being a show horse, Sci-Fi is gonna be out on the trail. Yeah, I'm talking to you. He pays attention, but he's also ready for another biscuit. Love him. Hey, love okay. him. If you asked me about my hair, I've been out in that wind. It was windy over That's, there. You know what, they, it's a, off the gorge got one just like you. They're so nice. I mean, oh, I'm, yeah, I will. <laughs> I guarantee you, I don't. I love one. this horse. Listen, Flaxman Tail will sell anyway. I love this horse. He's broke, 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 broke. Oh yeah, he's broke. But I'm. Gonna, yeah. I was watching him, and and even Roy Wester looked at him one time, and he said, "How much you want for him?" He uh -huh. he was real interested in. Him. Well, he's but, he's a, just a good pleasure horse. Hey, but he he could flat walk and got a motor, but. It's just like Jerry says now that they could take him out and hook him to a cart. Yeah. Take him all over the place, bring him back, and he's ready to go again. Yeah. But uh, let me tell you, that's 16 that, hands. That right there, when I worked for Wilson Farm all those years, that it was a big point. And you always show horses, okay? Yeah. That's why our breed is famous right there. Right there. Yeah. That gate. Because when those people get on those big trail rides out in the Midwest, and they look over and their buddy's riding a quarter horse and that quarter horse is jarring their body frame for five miles. They, the Eichlers or can yeah. tell you about it. They look over and say, what's that? What is this thing that's smooth? And they, it's a Tennessee walking horse. Changes their whole outlook. That's why you got Bill Johnson in the horse business. That's why you had the Eichlers in the horse business. Because this horse right there at that stage was different than everything else. Let me tell you something funny about it. Yeah. I had him down at Taters, down in New Yeah, of course. And uh, he was working with him. Well, he got out of his stall, and he was outside. Mm -hmm. And Tater had been out there for about an hour trying to catch him. Yeah. Every time he'd get close to him, of course, sci-fi, he'd just take off. Yeah. We drove up. I got out of the truck, come around, and that sci-fi was way down to back of that pass. On 41A? Yeah. Yeah. He looked up there and he saw me and he come and running. Yeah, you really? <laughs> and, and Tater, Tater told me. He's you know who Tater is? He's, oh yeah. He's, he's a good. combat award winning army. I mean, he is a combat dude. I'm talking about something he got shot at. No, he's combat. Good, he's a good guy. Great guy. But uh, he told me that he'd known that, that that's all he had to do to get sci-fi to come up there. He'd call me and I yeah. That that horse. So this is out at the little egg, at Uncle Nearest to yeah. the right, or to the well, left. right behind the training barn. They're doing a lot. They're building a new road. Yeah. All that stuff. They're they're fixing to build on an arena with the back of it. It is gorgeous. But, uh, I was I came through that last night. God, it's pretty. But I can tell you that if somebody wants a good one for the trail, mm -hmm. I'd hate to, but I would I would I would turn loose of it. He's pretty, Flaxman and Tail. Armed and Dangerous yeah. made that famous. Yeah. He's over 16 hands. Yeah. He's just over 16 hands. Good horse, pretty horse. Well, yeah. I just wanted to see. I tell you, I'm going to tell you one funny story, though. I carried my pistol over there, and I told Jeremy, I said, I said we're going to see if we can shoot around him. Yeah. You know? 
So uh, Jeremy was out there. He didn't knock off a liquor store on the way, did he? No. <laughs> okay. I'll tell you what I did tell him. About. I said, <laughs> I'll bet anybody in here ten bucks that he doesn't he doesn't budge. And it didn't so, look like he did when I well, saw well, the shots. Nobody going. nobody would bet with me. Yeah. So they're out there and they're getting him ready to to shoot around him. Yeah. And uh, Jerry said something. Jeremy thought they were ready. So Jeremy shot the gun down in the ground. Pop. Scared everybody around there but the horse. But the horse. horse. Yeah, everybody diving, yeah. <laughs> the horse. Brad said, Brad said he jumped, Jerry jumped. Yeah. And the horse just stood there and looked. You can, Tommy Grider always said, you can shoot off all of them once. <laughs> that's it. Well, that's, well, that's like Jill, Jill Dricks, and she said, for those people that have rode horses a lot, we have horses that have been rode a lot. So, well, they've for come those in. who have never ridden, yeah. we've got horses that have never been ridden. Right, exactly. <laughs> Everybody gets, gets in on the action. When we were at Wise and Front, we had so many great days out there, and shooting off of them was always a topic. Standing in the saddle on yep. one was always a topic. Oh, yeah. And Tommy Grider was so funny, he said, you know what, I've had to do that before. <laughs> I said, yeah. <laughs> I said, I bet you have. Oh, my Lord. But I tell you what, this right here is what makes our horse great. Yeah. There's always a place for the horse.